Hello there, this is Welsh ASMR 82. Hey, how you doing? So, in today's video, we're going to use this wonderful book yet again. It's a book by uh, Dorling Kindersley that I picked up from Waterstones in the UK. It's called Complete flags of the world, the ultimate pocket guide, new edition. I'd have to have a pretty big pocket to fit this in because it's bigger than my hand. But um, equally the thought of, you know, taking, <laughs> going for a walk and taking your flag book with you is very on brand for this channel and the subscribers, including me. So. We're going to look today at, this is going to make a noise, so I'm going to do it off camera, hang on. It makes a terrible noise when you open and close the book. Um, we're going to do Germany's Länder flags, so the, um, the different constituent parts of Germany. But we're also going to do the Netherlands, Switzerland and Austria as well, so we're going to do a sort of... Um, Germanic grouping today, and I hope the video is really, really interesting, and being an ASMR video, super relaxing as well. We're going to start off with the Netherlands, actually, rather than Germany, so hang on tight for Germany. We'll come back to, to it. start with Germany then. Oh yeah, Netherlands is next. Okay, we'll start with Germany. Okay, so it says, on German regional flags, the arms only appear on the official versions, except Lower Saxony, Saarland, and the uh, Rhineland Palatinate. So, we'll go through all of these, and then we'll look at the Netherlands, and then we'll look at, I think it's Switzerland first, and then Austria, to finish. Baden-Württemberg. The flag was adopted in 1953. Its colours derive from the arms of Duke Frederick V of Swabia. The coat of arms dates back to 1265. It was adopted as the state arms in 1954. Does it remind me of the flag on the Ferrari? I'm just trying to think. I know Ferrari is Italian, obviously, but it just reminds me of a different flag. Somewhere I've spent a lot of time, Bavaria, in the south of Germany. Bavaria's flag was adopted in 1950, but blue and white have been Bavarian colours since 1330. And the lozenge shapes uh, first appeared on banners in the 15th century. Wow, there's a lot of history in that. Um, the second place I've been the most in Germany is Berlin. The flag was first adopted for West Berlin in 1950 and extended to the whole city in 1991. The bear, a pun on the name Berlin, dates from 1338 and the colours from 1861. That's cute that they put a bear there because it's a pun on the pronunciation of Berlin in German. Brandenburg, looks like the Indonesian flag. The colours of the flag are derived from the central shield, dating from 1170, although red and white were also the colours of the medieval Hanseatic League. The flag was adopted in 1990. Bremen, Bremen, the flag of Bremen predates its coat of arms, which was adopted in 1891. Prior to this, Bremen was a member of the Hanseatic League, where the flag originated. Habburg, used since 1325, the red and white are the Hanseatic colours, same as that, same as that. 
the castle is for Hamburg, the three towers for the Trinity, the cross for Christ, the stars for the Father and Holy Spirit. Next, Hessen. The flag of Hessen was adopted in 1948. The coat of arms was that of Ludwig III of Thuringia in 1182. The red and white colours of the flag are taken from the lion in the arms. Reminds me of the Luxembourg coat of arms, that does. Lower Saxony, it's got the German Bundesrepublic flag there with an emblem in the middle. This flag uses the national flag with Lower Saxony's local arms in the centre. It was adopted in 1946, but the arms date the arms dates from around the 12th century, when it first became associated with the Duke of Saxony. Mecklenburg von Vorpommern rise with the old Yugoslav flag. This flag, adopted in 1991, combines blue and white of Pomerania with blue, yellow, and the red of Mecklenburg. The bull and uh, the griffon are also local emblems. Red and white recall the Hanseatic League. North Rhine Westphalia or North Rhine Westphalia. The coat of arms depicts the river Rhine of the Rhineland, Rhineland, the horse of Westphalia, and the rose of Lippe. The three territories that unify united to form the state. The colours of the flag are from the arms. Rhineland Palatinate. The flag was adopted in 1948 when the arms were placed on the national flag. The coat of arms depicts the lion of the Palatinate dating from 1229, the cross of Trier from 1273, and the wheel of Mainz from 1335. Saarland. Adopted in 1957, the flag of Saarland recalled the different parts of the state. Depicted on the shield is the Lion of Saarbrücken, the Cross of Trier, the Eagles of Lorraine, and the Lion of Pfalz Zweibrücken. Saxony. The flag was adopted in 1991. But the coat of arms is the traditional symbol of the rulers of Saxony. Black and yellow bands and the green crown of Rue. The white and green flag dates back from the 19th century. Saxony Anhalt. This flag was the same as Baden-Württemberg until 1991, when the colours were reversed. The eagle recalls Prussia the bi-coloured bands and the rue crown Saxony and the bear and wall are the arms of Anhalt. Schleswig-Holstein. The shield depicts two lions from the arms of Schleswig and a nettle leaf from those of Holstein. The colours of the flag, adopted in 1957, are taken from the arms. Thuringia, it's like Poland's flag, another flag whose colours are based on the state arms. It was adopted in 1991. The red and white lion was the arms of the Counts of Thuringia in the 12th century. And that is Germany for you. Those are the lender. Let's have a look then at the provincial flags of the Netherlands. Nederland. Except for South Holland and North Brabant, all the Dutch provincial flags are modern creations. Okay. Trente 
White and red are the colours of the archbishops of Utrecht, former rulers of Trente. The black castle and stars recall the uprising of Coulvarde against the archbishop. Flavelant. Blue is for the lake Aesel, from which the province was reclaimed ah, with the dikes. Green is for vegetation and yellow for the cornfields. The lily recalls Lely, the engineer of the reclamation project. Friesland. The flag is based on that of the 15th century kings of Friesland. The colours are those of the Dutch flag. The stripes and plombleide, the leaves of the yellow water lily, represent the seven districts of Friesland. And obviously this word plombleide is um, in Fries, the language of Friesland, where they don't only speak Dutch, but they speak another language. I've talked about it on this channel before, which is categorically the closest living language to English. Very pretty flag. I always thought they were hearts before. So they are actually the leaves of the yellow water lily. Okay. Gelderland. In 1371, the dukedoms of Geire and Gulik were united and combined their arms. The new arms was blue, yellow and black. These colours also appear in the flag, which was hoisted in 1953. Okay, next, Groningen. The flag, adopted in 1950, combines the green and white from the town of Groningen, surrounded by red, white and blue of Omeland, reflecting the town's position. Limburg. The red lion is from Limburg's arms. White and yellow are from the local coats of arms, while the narrow blue stripe is for the river Maas, which crosses the province. North Brabant. The design, adopted in 1959, originated in Antwerp, hmm, in Belgium, where red and white checked coat of arms were popular. It was associated with the area from the 17th century. North Holland. Or Nord Holland. Adopted in 1958, this flag unites the colours of Holland, yellow and red, with the blue and yellow of West Friesland. Yellow, the common colour, is placed at the top. Over Aesel. The yellow and red stripes recall the ancient association of the province with Holland. The wavy blue stripe running across the centre is for the Aesel River, after which the province is named. South Holland or Zeud Holland. The flag is a banner of the arms of Holland and was adopted in this form in 1986, replacing the previous simple tri-band of yellow, red, yellow, which is also based on the colours of the arms. Okay, and then in continuation of the Netherlands, we've got provincial and overseas territory flags. So we've got Utrecht and Zeeland to do, and then we look at the ABC Islands plus St. Marta. Okay, so Utrecht. The Archbishop of Utrecht used a red flag with a white cross from 1528. The Archbishop's flag remains in the canton of the modern flag, uh, adopted in 1952. The field is in the traditional colours of the province. And Zeeland. The flag of Zeeland adopted in 1949, shows its full coat of arms. The wavy blue and white stripes represent the sea and the constant struggle to control it. 
from the water, the Dutch lion, there's the water and then the Dutch lion, rises in triumph. Aruba. The flag of Aruba was adopted in 1976, when it was still administered as part of the Netherlands Antilles. The flag was retained when Aruba became autonomous in 1986. Curaçao. Curaçao's flag was adopted in 1984. Designed by Martin Den Dulk, the blue symbolizes the sky and the sea, and the yellow stripe the sunshine that bathes the island being in the Caribbean. The two stars represent Curaçao and Klein. Curaçao. Klein meaning small. Bonaire. The flag of Bonaire adopted in 1984 consists of yellow and blue, sorry, blue triangles, which represent the sun and the sea, while the white represents the sky. The six-pointed red star represents the six original village that made up the territory and St. Marta. Introduced in 1985, it looks like the Philippines, doesn't it? St. Marta, the flag of St. Marta has two horizontal bands of red and blue with a white triangle representing its past association with the Netherlands and France. Its coat of arms depicts the distinctive courthouse in Philipsburg, the capital. move on now. Spain is represented here as well as is the UK. The UK will take me a while to do, so I'll do that in a different video. Same with Spain. It's quite a long one. Let's skip on to Switzerland then. This is something I really want to learn as well. I know very little about Switzerland and its cantons. So let's find out about them together. In every case, the flags are based on the arms of the canton, some of which predate the cantons joining the Swiss Confederation. Aargau, adopted in 1803, the white waves, very pretty, isn't it, on black represent the river Aare, and the white stars on blue, the districts of Baden, the free areas, and Fricktal, which came together to form the canton. In 1963, it was decreed that the stars should be arranged two on top and one below. A pencil außer Hoden. Adopted in 1597, when the canton separated from the inner Hoden, the flag retained the bear, but added on the initials VR for Us Hosen. Oh, Us Hoden, sorry. Um, the bear dates back to medieval banners. It was used from 1403 in battles against the feudal landlords. And then Abetzel Inner Hoden. This is the original form of the flag before the partition from Abetzel Außer Hoden in 1597. The bear emblem was widely used locally in the Middle Ages and was taken by the Abetzelers from the arms of the Abbey of St. Gallen. Baselland. Baselland separated from the city in 1832. The arms and flag were adopted in 1834, based on the form of croisier used in Listal, with the crook turned to the right and decorated with small spheres. This was made official in 1947. And for a small country, there are absolutely loads of cantons. Baselstadt. The emblem of Baselstadt is the headpiece of the bishop's croisier. The emblem dates back to the earliest days of heraldry. Since the 15th century, it has been depicted as black on white. It was kept in this form when the canton was divided in 1832. Bern. The coat of arms dates back to the 12th century. Soon after, the arms, which depict a bear on a red field with a yellow diagonal, became the canton's banner. 
They have, however, been many variant forms throughout the ages. The bear represents the name of the canton, Bern, bear, okay. Fribourg. The original colours of Fribourg, black and white, were re-adopted when it joined the Confederation in 1831. But the colours actually date back to 1410 and are related to the coat of arms. Geneva or Genève, the eagle recalls the former Holy Roman Empire. The key is the key of Saint Peter and shows Geneva as the key to western Switzerland. The flag was adopted in 1815. Glarus, the flag of Glarus depicts the figure of Saint Fridolin, or Saint Fridolin, the patron saint of the canton on a red field. The flag was adopted when the canton joined the confederation in 1352. Graubünden. The flag includes symbols for the three original parts of the canton, which united in the 15th century Graubünden, Seegerichtenbund, and the Gotteshausbund. Jura. This flag was adopted in 1978 when Jura became a separate canton. It was formerly part of Basel-Land, recalled by the Croisier and Bern. The stripes are from the arms of Jura. Lucerne. Lucerne was the first canton after the original three to join the confederation in 1332. Its flag has the colours of its shield arranged horizontally instead of vertically. Neuchâtel, the tricolor, tri, tricolor, was used as a revolutionary banner before being adopted in 1848. The white cross was added to show the canton's association with Switzerland. Niedwalden, the key with two wards is the emblem of St. Peter and was used in the 15th century. It was retained when the canton divided in 1815. Obwalden. The red and white flag was used in Obwalden from the 13th century and was adopted when the separate canton was formed in 1815. Further to this, a key was added in 1816. Sankt Gallen. The emblems of Sankt Gallen, an axe and Vasquez, I don't know this word, were adopted in 1803 when the canton was formed under French influence. They are both symbols of republicanism. Schaffhausen. The emblem has been used has been in use since the 14th century. It depicts a ram, the sheep of the town's name, Schaff, on a yellow field. The flag's existence was first recorded as early as 1386. Schwitz. Schwitz was one of the first three cantons and the one from which the country takes its name. Yeah, Switzerland, Schweiz. Its solid red design existed before the confederation was formed in 1291. Solothurn. The coat of arms dates back to 1394 and has colours derived from those of the Confederation. The flag was originally red with a white cross but was simplified into its current form. Tuagau. The flag of Tuagau, adopted in 1803, depicts two gold lions arranged diagonally. They are taken from the coat of arms which dates from medieval times. Ticino. The colours of Ticino's flag may be derived from the French tricolore or from the main colours of the arms of the United Townships. Uri. This is a cool one. The emblem is an auroch's head linked to the canton's name. Uri, auroch. It dates from the 13th century but the nose ring was added later. Makes it look even more fierce, doesn't it? I don't even know what an auroch is, is it a type of bull? Valais. The modern flag of Valais is derived 
from that of the original Republic, which had seven stars for its component townships. These were increased to 12 in 1802 and retained when the state joined the Confederation in 1814. Vaux, I don't think it's pronounced Vaud. The colours, oh yeah, I think it's a French one, yeah, so Vaux. The colours date from 19, sorry, 1798, when the Le Mans Republic was formed and stand for freedom. It says Liberté et Patrie. They were retained when the state entered the Confederation in 1803. The motto is Liberté et Patrie, freedom and fatherland. Zug. Zug joined the Confederation in 1352 and again in 1364 after a brief return to Habsburg rule. The colours of the flag were originally red, white, red of Austria, but were altered to the blue and white from the arms of the Count of Lenzburg in 1352. Okay, lastly, Zurich, before we look at Austria. The flag in this case preceded the arms and dates back to the 13th century. It was adopted in 1351 when Zurich joined the Confederation. However, since 1957 it has been compulsory to depict the flag in the same format as the shield. Okay, and our last one for today is Österreich, Austria. Most provincial flags in Austria are based on the local arms. In many cases, they existed before their official adoption. Burgenland, the colours of the flag, officially hoisted in 1971, are based on the red eagle and yellow shield of the arms. Carinthia, adopted in 1946, the colours are derived from those of the Austrian flag and the yellow state shield. Lower Austria, it's the, it's the same as the Ukraine. Adopted in 1954, the colours are based on the arms, which contains a blue shield and five gold eagles. Salzburg, the flag adopted in 1921, uses the traditional colours of the state, which are based on the national colours. Styria. The coat of arms of Styria is a green shield bearing a white lion. The flag adopted in 1960 uses these colours. Tyrol. The bicoloured flag is derived from the arms which depicts uh, a red eagle on a white disc. It was adopted in 1945. Upper Austria. Upper Austria's flag, adopted in 1949, is derived from the national colours of the arms of the province. Lots of the flags are just red and white, aren't they? Vienna, the flag of Wien, the flag dates from 1946. It is based on the city's arms, but is identical to the flags of Salzburg and Vorarlberg. And then Vorarlberg. Like the flags of Salzburg and Vienna, Alberg's bicolour flag is based on the provincial arms. Awesome. I really hope you enjoyed that. I'll be doing in a couple of weeks another video probably about Spain. I used to live in Murcia. And the UK. Curiously they didn't do anything for France or Italy. Um, but yeah, there's lots to do with um, the UK there. It's going to be quite a long time reading all of them. The best one. And I think the other country that they do a lot for is Russia. So I'll see, because that one is massive, we'll see if we've got time to do that. But yes, I think after that then we'll be looking at um, some ones outside of Europe. For example, they do quite a good one for Malaysia. And where is it? Malaysia. But curiously not Indonesia, which 
which I thought was strange. Yeah, there's all Indonesian flags. Sorry, Malaysian flags. They don't do a big one for India, which I was shocked at. And I think then Brazil is one of the others that it does a lot for. So we'll get around to all of those in the future, okay? For the meantime, if you really enjoyed this video, could you do me a favor and click like, please? And also subscribe if this is your first time here to make sure you get the videos um, regularly on your feed. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this ASMR video, find it relaxing, informative. Yeah, and uh, if you love what I do, then don't forget, why not join me on Patreon info box below. Just click on that and uh, it'll take you to the link and you get an extra flag video which is never released to the public, one per month extra. Um, but yeah, thanks so much everyone. Drop me a little comment and let me know if you enjoyed the video and any other fun facts you've got about these flags we looked at today. But for now, 